Ever wondered how a computer can recognize a face in a photo? Or how your phone can understand your voice commands? These tasks, seemingly simple for humans, are made possible for machines thanks to a fascinating and complex concept known as neural networks and deep learning. Neural networks, particularly deep neural networks, are a class of machine learning models that take inspiration from the structure and function of the human brain. They're particularly good at solving complex tasks that involve large amounts of data, such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and much more. The unique feature that sets deep neural networks apart from traditional neural networks is the presence of multiple interconnected layers. The fundamental building blocks of these networks are neurons, also known as artificial neurons or perceptrons. Just like biological neurons in our brains, each artificial neuron takes a set of inputs, applies a weighted sum to them, adds a bias term, and then passes the result through an activation function. This function introduces non-linearity into the model, deciding whether the neuron fires or produces an output signal. Now these neurons are organized into layers within a neural network. There are typically three types of layers. The input layer is the first layer that receives the raw input data. Each neuron in this layer corresponds to a feature or element of the input data. Then we have hidden layers. These layers come between the input and output layers. They are called hidden because their outputs are not directly observed. They perform complex transformations on the input data. Deep neural networks have multiple hidden layers, which is what makes them deep. The depth of the network refers to the number of hidden layers. Finally, the output layer produces the final output of the neural network. This could be a classification, regression, or some other kind of prediction depending on the task at hand. Each connection between neurons has an associated weight, which determines the strength of the connection. These weights are parameters that the network learns during training. Additionally, each neuron has a bias, an offset applied to the weighted sum before passing it through the activation function. Activation functions introduce non-linearity into the neural network, allowing it to model complex relationships in the data. Common activation functions include sigmoid, hyperbolic tangent, and rectified linear unit. During the forward propagation phase, input data is passed through the network from the input layer to the output layer. Neurons in each layer perform their calculations, and the output of one layer becomes the input for the next layer. Backpropagation is the training phase of the neural network. It's used to update the weights and biases of the network in order to minimize the difference between the predicted output and the actual target. This process involves calculating gradients of the loss with respect to the weights and biases, and then adjusting these parameters in the direction that reduces the loss. Output. In summary, neural networks and deep learning are powerful tools for processing and interpreting large amounts of data. They're built on the principles of artificial neurons, organized into layers, and trained through processes of forward propagation and back propagation. These components work together to enable the machine to recognize patterns, make predictions, and even mimic human-like understanding. 